All right, let me make sure. Oh, I have too many things with sound. Woohoo, hang on. There yeah. we go. Hi, everybody. I always forget to hit one of those mute buttons. I had the webcam and my mic on, so there might have been a little quick bleh, to start off with. Uh, welcome to I don't know what day of the week it is, but we're here to stream. I think it's Thursday. Maybe it's Thursday. Uh, with me tonight, whose faces you cannot see, but your voices you will hear, are Mr. Jim Breeze, my partner in all things gaming and life. Hello. And <laughs> the Kin. We call him the Kin. And in fact, I have him as my in my phone still as Kin Typhoon. Typhoid. Aww. That's what I have you as. I have you as Typhoid Kin, still in my phone. Oh, that's mean. It, but it's not. But mean. But it, so there for a second, I went. I don't. I have you as Ken Typhoid, and so I haven't thought about your last name in a really long time. But Mr. Ken Ernest is here joining us. Hello. Say hi to the peoples, Ken. Hello, peoples. And we are going to play uh, one of my new favorite games. I think Jim would agree with this. Ken, you've never played this before, right? That is correct, Matt. So, uh, this is Endeavor Age of Sail from Grand Gamers Guild and Burt Island Games. Um, holy cow, you guys, this game's fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to do a three-player version. We are not using the exploits in this one, so in case uh, you're going to see some stuff over up in the right-hand corner that we will not be using, maybe we'll stream that other, another time. We haven't learned it yet either, so you don't want to see that train wreck of us attempting to learn it. Wow. Just getting on Tabletop Simulator is challenge enough for me. So I'm going to be purple... I don't know. What color are you, fellas? I don't remember. I'm yellow. All right. Ken, what'd you go I'm with? red. Okay. I normally play blue, so we'll see how confused I get. Oh, we'll Lord. Um, so what we're going to do, this, uh, like I'm in, this is on Tabletop Simulator, so you can go out and give this a try if you want. You can also, uh, if you're planning on attending Gen Con Online, which I will remind you is free to register for this year, we will be offering uh, some live playthroughs of this. Not live play. Well, it'll be live for you, but you can sign up for a learn to play. So if you want just a short session, a few rounds, although when we've played it, you can get a lot further in the game than what we realized you could in, in like an hour. So we could get pretty far into it. And then we also have a full playthrough. It is scheduled for two hours. Keep in mind, a lot of that time is buffer time in case there are technical issues, audio issues, Things like that, getting to the game. Kim can't figure out how to work Tabletop Simulator. Things like that. So, hopefully, <laughs> I have a little time to practice before uh, Gen Con. But uh, you can find it under Endeavor Age of Sale as an event. We're running them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, hopefully, you can find a time that works for you. And we'd love to have you. And, Jim, do you want to um, click... Do, let me zoom in. Well, I'm going to let this thing kind of take us on its own tour. What I love about this module is it it walks you through how to play this game. This is a really well done module. And Ken and Jim, feel free to chime in at any time. This It doesn't have to just be me talking. Oh, you're doing fine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you want to click? I've already, I've already scrolled out, Jim, if you're scrolled in and you want to click the three player thing and then the go button, I don't think goes right on the bottom. It says something else, but... Woohoo! Okay, so the purpose of this game, and I'm going to let Jim, you can chime in some too as we're talking about it. The purpose of this game is you are trying to build your empire through trading and sailing, and you're trying to get all across the world and build your reputation and build your wealth. And what you're going to see on the board, can I see your crazy little red hand flying all over the place? Um, we have this beautiful map laid out. We are going to start in Europe. That's where all of our trading and sailing is going to happen. Um, we will need to use a particular action to open up other parts of the continent. We'll get to that later on. But the first thing that we'll talk about here are the trade tokens. And you can kind of see them down on the board. And we're going to be able to pick these up as we are taking actions, occupying spaces, sailing. Um, and these are also going to the brown tokens at the top. They are going to, let's see, those are attributes. So we're going to be able to increase attributes on our player board if we were to take one of these. The blue tokens on the bottom are what allow us to take additional actions. And do not underestimate the power of the blue tokens because 
um, you'll find it, it saves you a worker. Um, so you get to play this token in lieu of having to have an extra worker to put in one of your buildings, and then you're going to be able to take that action. And we'll go over what those actions are here in just a second. All right, now we uh, one of us can click next. Woohoo! Uh, we have asset cards as well. So one of the actions that you can take is to draw a card. We'll show you that on the buildings whenever we get to that. It's a little crate box is what it looks like. What these asset cards are going to do is allow you to then increase attributes on your player board, um, which you need to do to increase your wealth, to be able to hire more workers, build better buildings. Why do you have a letter T moving around? You became the letter T, Ken. I don't know. What's he that? activated the text function. Oh Lord, here we go. He Ken can work tabletop simulator. I cannot. So disregard the floating T around the building. Um, so with the number, um, so it's got a crest that'll tell you which um, country or continent. Continent is a better word that each of these are included in. It will have the attribute symbols. You get to if you take that card and you place it on your player board, you're going to get to increase those specific attribute symbols. And then the draw value, so that number down in the right hand corner, that is how many of your worker tokens that you would need to have on that area of the map to be able to draw it. So starting out in Europe, uh, the first couple of cards are all at zeros, if I remember correctly, Jim, would you agree? Yeah, the first card on each stack are zeros, and then they increase by one going down. I think they top out at five I think so. on each card. Yeah, so they're going to have different attributes as you go up. And then some of them are going to have um, glory symbols, which in this game is just the international symbol for points. So just keep that in mind. You'll see them um, on the board as well. So when you see those either on a card or on the board, that means points. Yeah, those guys. Next. All right, governor cards. So these work similar. Each region has a governor card uh, other than Europe, there's not a governor card for Europe uh, because that uh, that uh, area is already open. So once we get into how you unlock this, you'll unlock this by sailing. If you have the most tokens in the area to unlock it, then you're going to get the governor card. And that's just going to give you additional attributes and probably a point. And that, that track to unlock a region and get the governor card is along the outside yeah we'll pull one up and show it yeah that's, yeah we'll, we'll show you it's kind it's kind of hard to see you can see it here on the back of the board depending upon how small of a screen you're watching this on you may not be able to see it very well uh but we'll we'll show you one a little bit closer and you fill that by taking the sailing action um so governor cards i don't know that i feel like they're they're helpful to get because you get to increase attributes they are not game ending if I think if you don't get a governor card. It's not like if I don't get one of these, right. I'm not going to win. Um, it's just an extra thing that you have. And on your player board, if you don't have a governor card, you actually get three points at the end of the, at the, at the, end of the game if you don't have a card there. So you're still going to get a benefit one way or the other. Now the building tiles. Let me scroll out just a smidge so you guys can kind of see these. Once we get into them, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Each... What I like about this game, it's really fun. It's done over seven rounds and you're going to take a building tile. That's your first action each phase. You're gonna to get to build a new building. Now, starting out, um, they all have different build levels. That is what is shown in the upper right hand corner. So if you're looking at columns and luckily if you highlight over these, it'll also tell you, you've got a workshop level one, a market level one or a shipyard level one. Once you get on your player board up to level two, then there are le you can build up to level two buildings. Now you can still go back down to a level below whatever you built. I don't know that we found a need to do that. I think maybe we have in one game. Um, this goes all the way up to one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There are decreased number amounts of buildings as you go up. So there'll be plenty of us in level ones and level twos. When you get to level five, there's only one of each of these buildings. So we, we're all, we all have an opportunity to get one, or maybe uh, one of you guys could build two five buildings if you beat me there, and then I couldn't get one if I were slow, right? Right. Um, they each have different actions on them. Some of them increase attributes. So if I scroll in here a little bit, so you guys can kind of see the ones here in the top. The workshop increases your 
uh, building level by two. So it, this is that is just a building that increases your attribute. Uh, if I jump over here, actually all these top level ones only increase attributes. If I scroll down here a little bit further, then some of them also have an action that you can take. And there's a little small circle in there. And then there's icons that will show you the actions that you can take. You have to put a worker on that building first, and then you would use an additional worker, um, sometimes two if you're fighting, to then take that action. Um, and there's a, there's a card on here that explains the actions better, so I will get to the card um, instead of trying to mess it all up. Every player has a start building tile. Um, it can either be, right, we should be able to flip these if we want, uh, the colonial house, which uh, is going to allow you to take an occupy action. So I have a tendency to use that one. And the other side, I believe, will it let me flip this? Nope. Is it not gonna let me flip it? Flip. Nope. All right, maybe because I'm in the tutorial. The other side, I wish I had a copy of the game in front of me, is a market, if I remember correctly. And I think it lets you draw a card. I think that's what it is. Does that sound right, Jim? Uh, let me double check here. Oh, do you have it with you? The other side. Oops, sorry. That's oh, yes. not. Uh, uh, we're still in the opening tutorial, so it's not going to let me change it. Yeah, I think I think it's because we're in the opening. I mean, I, the the low crown looks even cooler in here. Yeah, you can flip that. So I don't know why I can't flip the card, but we'll okay. see. All right. So player mats. This is a nice. Let me zoom in just a smidge more so you guys can see that really well. You have fun with the crown there Keno. so this is what everyone's player mat looks like um in the real game these are large <laughs> they seem very intimidating when you first sit down to the game uh it is much easier than this makes it look like um it has a nice flow chart so let me go kind of left to right this the yellow section here is just telling you what order that you take your actions each round in so we're gonna build a building and you're basically just going straight down this line of items here. So we're each going to take a turn. We can we can build a building. We can... Uh, our culture growth... Our culture track. So that allows us to bring in workers. We will all start here, I believe, on zeros. Unless we have... Uh, unless our marketplace card... Or our car starting card tells us differently. Uh, what I found confusing is... Each... It's the build level, the growth level. It's those items below it. So just because I'm on a three, for example, I can only build a level two building. So that took me a second to understand when we were first playing it. But then I was good. Uh, once you go through a couple rounds, it becomes, it makes a lot more sense. But it's just that kind of first one going, wait, I'm on a two, but I get three, that kind of thing. So first we'll build a building. Then we will add additional workers down here on the bottom left in our harbor. It's just where your workers hang out. It's, it's, it's nothing more significant than that's where your worker pieces go. Uh, next is your wealth. And this is what allows you... Um, I think we found the best way to describe it is hire your workers. So along your seaside here, that's where you're going to put your building pieces. The ones that, have, that you've assigned workers to. This tells you basically how many of those workers you can hire back to put in your harbor to put in your worker pool. Jim, would you explain that any like would you explain that any differently than what I just did? No, I that's okay. That's pretty much it. We got a little conf it's I used all the wrong terminology the last time we explained this game. So um the influence track here, uh it's what lets you draw those cards that we were talking about earlier. And then the track well, underneath of that. What I'm sorry, Jim, go ahead. Saying is it's not so much draw the cards, but at the end of the round that tells you how many, how many cards you can, that you can keep. Yep, I right. did say that wrong. Yeah, so the track down here. Now what looks like shackles, you are correct. Um there are slavery cards in this game, but you can abolish slavery in this game too. So uh, Error um, warning. I guess I guess trigger warning. There is slavery in this game. Um, it's very abstract. It all it does is that it does increase um, some of your productivity. But if you ever discard a slavery card or if the abolish slavery card ever comes up, then any then um, your slavery cards are, instead of discarded, they're turned over and kept in front of you and they're worth negative points at the end of the game. Yep. So I appreciate that it gives a negative connotation so, to slavery. 
Um, it's right. I don't think that it's necessarily and honestly, I rarely will feel find the need to draw those anyway. But um, let's see. So we talked about the tracks, the seaside here. Like I said, that is where your building cards are going to go as you build them. Makes it really easy to keep track of which round that you're in. Um, the governor slot, that's the one right here. It's got those three point markers on it. If you get a governor card, that's where you're going to put it. The rest of these are, are what are, uh, driven by your influence track. So that's going to tell you how many card slots you have. And that's where you would place those cards. Oh, status track. I love that they did. Um, so the version that we have, they're just little cubes that you have on your player board, but there were some, um, Kickstarter you know, kind of blinged out components. If anybody has those and they don't want them, hit me up because Jim and I love, if you saw the Facebook page today, Jim and I love blinged out components. <laughs> it's like our favorite thing. So uh, these, and they, so they kind of match. So this is a little brick house. This is a little urn. This is a little gold coin. And then this is a shield. So as we, we're going to try to move these up our track. And you will see some of these have um, number values or yeah. These number values are going to be point related. So you really want to try to get over here to 10, 11, and 12 because that's those are all worth points. If, if my culture were to land here at a 9 at the end of the game, for points I would have to go back to a 7. We'll get into all that whenever we do in-game scoring. Um, right. In-game scoring is not complicated and I'm much appreciative of that fact in this game. Oh, the population discs, we will just have those. They're just little discs. We're going to pull them out of here. We'll put them in our harbor. So um, you only get, based on that culture track, that's how many, this is where we're going to pull those workers or those discs from. And the crown that Ken is flipping all over the place. I don't even know where it went. Where'd you move that thing to? It's somewhere. Oh, jeez. There it is. That will be our and first player surprised. marker. <laughs> this is what happens when... Somebody knows how to work TTS more than you. All right, that is our first player marker. Um, so like I said, we will start with the construction phase where each player builds a building. We will then move to the growth phase. That's when we gain our population discs. I keep calling them workers. That's essentially because it's worker placement, but that's your population. Salary is where we pay our workers. The action phase, this is what Jim and I have messed up. <laughs> and it certainly changed the game when we played it correctly, didn't it, <laughs> Yes, it did. Makes a little difference when you follow those rules that publishers put out for you. Um, the action we don't phase. Need no stinky rules. Right? So the, the construction, growth, and salary phase, we can pretty much do simultaneously if we're comfortable doing that. The first couple rounds will probably each take a turn so you guys can see what's happening. The action phase is when it matters <laughs> that we only do things one at a time in the proper order. Um, because... Otherwise, somebody gets to do a whole bunch of stuff on the board and everybody else is going, yeah. hey, I was going to go there. Um, whoops. <laughs> we did that wrong. Uh, it may have changed the outcome of our last game. And then the discard phase is that is if you have drawn a card, but you are not able to move your influence track up high enough to keep it, then you have to discard one of the cards. That doesn't mean like once you have two and I draw a third one, I can flip those in and out if I want. I just have to change the attributes on my player board accordingly. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And it does recommend when you first learn the game that the run the phases is taught. Everyone does construction, then everyone does growth, and everyone does salary. Um, and then as you get more comfortable, you can totally do this simultaneously. And I would say, yeah, it doesn't even take a whole game to feel comfortable with that. I would say... They're right, about three rounds, and you're like, okay, I understand what's happening here now. And then I can... You're fairly comfortable. Um, oh boy, this really... I'm telling you guys, that's why I like this. This goes into more detail about what that construction phase does. We're going to kind of talk through it as we go, so I'm not going to... Uh, you're welcome to pause the video at this point if you would really like to read this card and see what all that it does. Um, but we'll talk through it as we go. Same thing with the growth. I'm going to leave it up here for a second. You are welcome to pause the video. Check it out. Uh, salary phase again. You're hiring your workers in back into your harbor population. This is this is that important thing, Jim. Oh, the thing that I didn't oh, yeah. mention about this action phase. So, as a, we also collect tiles out here on the board, they are also this is what this kind of diagram over here on the right showing. You're going to place them in the little circle 
next to the corresponding attribute on your board and move that attribute up on the track. So that is another way. So to move attributes up on your track, you can collect uh, tokens from out here on the board. You can collect car or add cards to your hand that also increase your attributes. You can get a governor card that increases your attributes. You can get a slavery card that increases your attributes. Am I missing anything else? Are those the only ways? Uh, that's pretty much it. Cool. I did forget to mention that. My apologies, kids. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to... This is... Woo! Shipping track. Okay. Oh, this is a nice example of the shipping track, which we talked about earlier. So shipping is an action that you can take. Europe is the only area that is open starting out on the on the game to open up the other regions you have to complete a shipping track and so this is what they look like um in our three to four player board they are right aren't, aren't they're like five or six yeah they're right. a little shorter than that um and they all these tokens are placed randomly on the board so you have to start um there's a little arrow at the bottom you have to start at the back of it and you work your way up you will take a token every time you place a disc and then whoever has the most discs on that track becomes the governor is it possible are they i could say is it possible to have a tie that's what i was reading over yeah. okay if there's a tie then it's the uh of the of the of the tied players, whoever has their token closest to the governor card. Okay, we haven't run into that in playing yet, because most of the time I let we are working on our own little areas. The thing, Ken, to remember that I always seem to forget: once an area has been opened and the shipping track has been completed, it's open to everybody. So it's not just the person that's the governor that can go there. Everybody can go there, and I keep forgetting that. And Jim keeps sweeping me on points because I keep forgetting that. Uh, a fleet space, this is what um, these look like little ships on them. So you would use a shipping action to fill these. You would use an occupy action to fill uh, one of these like harbor looking places. Oh, the open sea zone. Jim, I'll let you explain that because I know you've read over it a little bit more than I have and I don't completely remember what that does. So in order to get the, uh, the cards that are available in each region, you have to have what's called presence in that region. And of course, um, a presence is just the number of your discs that are in that area. Um, sometimes uh, maybe there just isn't a spot there, but you still want to have presence there. That's where these open sea zones come in handy. So you're not necessarily going to be able to gain a token or um, you know occupy a city or anything like that. Um, and if you don't want to have a conflict with anybody else that's in that region you can just put them into that open sea zone any number of discs can be there but it still does count towards your what's called like i said presence in that region and that is what allows you to draw the different cards mm -hmm. uh, because that number in the lower right corner that's how many discs you have to have in that region to be able to get that card cool so this would help you if you needed, if you only maybe had one or two in here, you could add one to this area, then have three and be able to take another card. Cool. Okay, so um, this, I'll try to move a little, move it along here. Um, this is the symbol that you will see on either the tokens. Actually, yeah, it is one of the token options. It's going to be on one of the blue ones. Or it's going to be um, on one of your buildings in the bottom right-hand corner. It is Occupy, and that's going to allow you to put one of your workers. Now, you have to put one. If you're using a building, you have to put one on the building, and then you have to use a separate worker to go out onto the map. So it takes two workers to do. If you're using a blue token, you can do it with one. And you're going to put them in any of these little harbor areas here and take the corresponding token that's on it. So that is essentially what Occupy means. Um, and it does say to occupy in a region you must have a presence and so that means you need to at least what is it saying to occupy in a region you must have presence in the region this means that you need to have at least one disc already in the region right so how do I do that and so can I that so does that retract my previous statement of I needed to at least help you open one of the other areas before I can put something in it Either help open it or have a ship or have a uh, have one of your uh, workers in that open sea area. Okay, we didn't play that right either. 
things you learn as you go. All right. Um, attack, which we have not done a ton of. Uh, but if somebody, like, so one of the cool things that you can do, so right below this card, you'll see that there are two um, harbors, and there's a, there's also a coin between it, and there's a line connecting them. So you're, co you're connecting, um, like, shipping... What would I... Supply lines. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. And maybe... You know, either you got somebody racking up a bunch of points or someone has put their token and blocked your supply line. So you can attack them. It makes you discard a disc or one of your workers from your harbor back into the supply. It's basically a casualty of war. And then you can put your uh, worker on that space and then you would still have to spend one either on a building because I think one of the buildings has that op options. You can only attack occupied cities or fleets in Europe or open regions. And again, you have to have a presence in the region to attack there. So presence, so presences in the region was one of the things that slipped past us before. Uh, payment. That's where we were talking about. So that is the little coin um, icon that happens a lot in, in the buildings. This allows you to... That was in stereo, Muffler Man. Sorry, guys. Um, it allows you to move one disc from a building of your choice back to your harbor. So if you, um, these are available on the blue tokens, these are available on one of the buildings and it basically lets you get like an extra action with it. If you have enough. Uh, the little box icon that is what is going to allow you to draw the cards. You can only draw them from regions that you are active in, um, I'm trying, making sure that there's no limit to how many cards that you can draw, but in the discard phase, you have to discard down to what you can have on your player board based right. on your influence. Do, do, do. I mean, I'm just making sure I'm not missing another crazy rule. So regions do not need to be open in order for you to perform the draw action there. You need to only have presence in the region to draw the top card. So that would include the shipping line. Right. And then the abol uh, uh, abolition of slavery. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Um, I was, you just have that brief moment of, did I say that word right? Because I'm on stream and oh, now I've already acknowledged that I wasn't sure I was saying it right. That's terrible. Um, it's one of those things you read weird and you get nervous and say it wrong. So this is, I believe, like Jim said, it's on the Europe card. So if anybody does have slavery cards, that's going to be negative points. And they come off your board immediately. Your attributes would then have to move down. Uh, discard phase we've kind of talked through. I'm not going to go into a great amount of detail. Uh, we can kind of talk through it as we play. Game, in game and final scoring, you get points. Ken, that's the goal. Try to get all the points. And since Ken, since Jim and I played this before, do you have any other questions before? I'm like, it don't, doesn't look like anybody in chat has any questions. Yeah, how do we play again? No. <laughs> kicking you off the game oh we're not talking about exploits no why are you still showing me that no nope. right click on the next or i'm done we're done oh that that was um mini expansion that it was talking about there and i did read a little bit about those you'll see next to the regions um you'll see an additional what looks like a building card so oh I'm go these the so we're ignoring this well these are additional buildings that are available. Now, oh, I see in the it. Building, in the building phase, you just have to have six presence in that region, and you can take that building instead of one of the others off to the left. Okay. That's simple enough nope. to, I don't know, yeah. six yeah. presence It'll, in a region, it, though? Wow. Right. So they work just like a regular building. Um, so like this one in the Caribbean, it's the um, Caribbean Charter Company it gets you you know, okay. uh, uh, one income or one wealth, I should say, in one culture, and it allows you to take a um, a sale and an attack action. Okay. And that each each region has their own specific building. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, we can uh, do are that. Are we good? I think we're good. You ready to go? Ken, are you good? I haven't looked to see. Yeah, give me one sec. I just have to use the potty real quick. All right, that's good. I got to learn how to, to zoom in on these. Sorry, guys. This doesn't zoom in like other games that I zoom in on. 
mouse wheel will zoom for you. I am zooming, but then it doesn't. So in something else, probably tabletop simulator, I can click and then like push back, and it'll move the t- and it'll move me around the table, and it doesn't do that here. So. I'm if less... you use the middle mouse button, it'll let you zoom around. Do I have to like click on it? Oh, yeah. that's what I'm not doing. I wish yeah. I created my username with a capital K because it looks like RT Breezy and it bothers me, but So do you want All right. Do you want me to be first I guess I can be first player starting off. To make sure you remind me. Oh, and then I have to end my turn. Um, Ken's not here. Well, help. I'll go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so the first nope, thing... Ken's here. Oh, I thought you were still going to the little boy's room. Oh, I'm, I'm done. That's quick, man. Okay, so... Oh, wait, was I supposed to wash? No, yes. For th- however many seconds you're supposed to watch for COVID-19. 20. Okay, so building phase. I'm gonna come over here. Whee! Make you all seasick. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take the shipyard. Did it do it? Did it take that card for me? <gasps> yes. It did! Oh my god, this thing's so cool. Okay, cool. So, oh god, you guys, I'm sorry. People are watching this, I'm going to get all kinds of thumbs down. So it placed my shipyard here. The first time that we start out, the worker is right here. Um, it already moved my culture up one for me, which is really cool. Yep. So, it's, so what's cool about this one... If you're learning, if you haven't learned, if you haven't played the physical copy of the game and you do it this way, it's going to do all the, all the heavy lifting for, for you. Then you may be like, what do I do whenever you actually sit down to play the physical game? So I'm going to, I get, so where my culture is, I get two workers, two population. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do my wealth. My wealth is currently at zero, but it's above the one. Like, so I get to hire this worker. He gets to come back into my harbor. And then that's, and then I don't have any, there's nothing in my draw phase at this point. So then we would move over to, Jim, we'll go ahead and let you do your building phase. And then Ken will come to, is that right? Is that the right order, I guess, down that way? Uh, Yeah, we can do left to right. That's fine. So what do I want to build? In turn, Kim. Oh, I struggle with intern buttons. Oh, where is the intern button? It'll pop up when it's your turn, like right in the top oh, middle. Okay. So, That's a good building too, Jim. So I took, yeah, I took the workshop, and underneath the bag with your with your discs in it, if you click on that draw to harbor, it'll automatically pull out oh. how many discs are in here. I you didn't would do need that. To pull out. Um, and you guys will see these little shields here. Oh. We won't be... They're not used in the base game, so... <clears throat> now, Ken, pick your building first. Can you need help? Mm. We'll come over here and see what Ken's doing. You can only go down this first column. Oh. You can only build a level one building right now. Yeah, you see the number of bricks in the upper right corner? Okay, I missed that earlier. Okay. Okay. Right. So then it upped your yep, your culture. So you got your little dudes. And then you can bring your one. Uh, now that the thing is not in front of me, I can't remember any of the terms. Um, well, thank well. you. Oh, if I hover, it tells me. This mod's got it all, you guys. I, I'm really impressed with this mod. Okay, so now I just end turn, or do well, something no. else? I do? see that one uh, red disc that you have on your building. Oh, yep, that yeah. comes back. Yeah. The wealth track there just says you can pull one disc down from your buildings at that point. Gotcha, okay. Now you can end your turn. Perfect. Okay, so now we start our action phase, yep. where we take one action at a time, Kim, not two. So I'm going to put one on my colonial house. So that's going to allow me to put a population disc. Who do I want? Well, put that, hold on, real quick. Just put that back in your harbor. Yeah. And then just wherever you want to occupy, just click on that spot on the board. Oh, okay. So let's come on. All right, hang on. 
on me. Then Kimmy, it's not in your harbor. It's not. It is. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, she placed one there on her building, and then she has to place another one on the board. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so I took the one that had an action token. So I've occupied here. We're going to go back to my board. All right. And now yeah. I have my little... Ken, it will give me my action token in my board. So, Ken, for the most part, if you're using your buildings, if you're activating buildings for actions, it's uh -huh. going to take two workers per action. One gotcha. to go to the building, one to go onto the map. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm... You done? No, I'm going to use... How do I... So how do I do if I want to use this action well, token? you have to wait till your next turn. Oh, my Lanta! See? I want to do all <laughs> the things at once. You play it wrong the very first time, and <laughs> you can't get it out of your head. I'm going to I go want to do there. all the things. Dang it. You're going to take the spot um, I want. Because that's what he does. Uh, I'm going to go here. Woo, that's kind of cool to watch, man. Yep. And, yeah, it, and it also automatically adjusts your track. Yeah, so there's things about this game that's kind of hard to like show you how it works because I'm not taking the token and putting it on my track. And you'll just stack all those up as you play. Um, are you shipping, Ken? All the little boat ones you have to take a shipping action. And the occupy action you can do in the little harbors. The buildings, yeah. Or the cities. But you can only do it in Europe right now. Okay, so I put that there. Yep. And then I put the trade token here, right? You should have done it um, Well, if you, wanted to put it, if you wanted to put it there, you'd have to move the token onto your other building. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. Put it there. There you go. Yep. Sweet. Did I win? Yes. <laughs> you won awesome. that turn. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, Jim, what's the weird thing? How do I use my little thingy? Um, well, you see, if you, if you look at the right side of the board, there's a little, uh, like, half-buried crate with a red X on it. Oh, yeah, I see it. Right here. For discarded tokens. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do the Occupy action. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that was complicated. Okay, and then I'm going to come out here. Okay, so because I'm already here, it's going to make sense to go there. Cool. You see it grabbed both of those tokens so it took for both her. both of these here. Then she controls both ends of that uh, supply line. Turn. All right. So, since I only have one population disc and I don't have any action tokens, my turn is done. I have to pass. Oh, wow. Okay. So, play goes until uh, basically everybody has to pass. So, Ken, how many? I don't know how many. We'll come in here and check. He's Kenneth. the same. He's only got one. Yeah, so you've one only got one. So, then you would, yep. And then the I click here. right here, and so I go next round. So it moves the start player to Jim. I will end my turn, because there's nothing else I can do. Okay. So okay. Then, then I will go will... into the building Oh, phase. I still can only build a level one building. I can build a level two. Yes. Uh, let's go build? Build? I might build a guild hall. I like that one. So some of these, like, if I zoom over here real quick on gems. So it has an or action, so he can draw a card or go shipping. As we get further into the buildings, uh, higher up on the building levels, there'll be some that let you do two actions. So you still only have to place one worker on the building, but you'll get to either do, I think one's like a double shipping. There's another right. one that is um, something else. I forget what the other one is. And are you... Did you get all your goods, Jim? Is it... Yeah, oh. I'm good. 
You guys are moving right along, and I'm just talking and whatever. Don't forget to pull your one worker back from the shipyard. Yeah, Yeah, because you have the money to bring him back. Awesome. There is a fly in here, you guys, and so it's buzzing around and driving me nuts. Okay. Let's go over here. And so the first couple of rounds of this game go pretty quick, because the most any of us can do is, like, like, Kim was able to grab a um, um, an action action token, so she was able to do two things. Yeah, that's... <laughs> um, whereas, whereas Ken and I could only do one each. Uh, um, but as the game goes on, as we're able to get more uh, worker back. tokens out of the bag per round, that's all I can we'll do. have more and more buildings that have action spaces, so we'll have more... Yeah, definitely. More options, yep. more actions that we can take. Um, so that'll... I don't want to say drag out the game. By but, no, will... but then you have actually finally feel like you're doing something. Right. Because the first couple of rounds, you're like, well, like how am I ever going to get anywhere in this game? I didn't do anything. I don't have enough workers. First... And then you go, oh. But very quickly, you find yourself getting four workers and, st- and then enough money to bring them back. You go, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shipping action. <gasps> I know. I feel like I need to start... I'm going to go here. I will say that, like, when we played just the two-player game, we didn't really start shipping, taking those shipping actions early enough. And then Europe filled up, and we were both going... We found that we had a lot of workers we couldn't do anything with. So I started I started the shipping track in the Caribbean. Okay. How you doing over there, kitty boy? I'm just clicking things. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is, I know that I complained about, I, I struggled, you guys, and that some of that's just Kim's technology challenge. Um, I struggled to get into this, but once I got into it, like, I think it's awesome that it has all those pop-ups on how to play the game, and that it does so much of the movement for you, because this would be fiddly and complicated to move all these little bits on TTS yeah. otherwise, I think. It can be a little fiddly, I'm but it's not too to bad. I'm going to ship I'm going to ship. I'm going to ship. Where am I going to ship? I'm going to... Oh boy. I'm going to ship. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. So that's all I can do on that turn. Because okay. I have to remember, I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> and that is easier said that than done. One thing I can do is occupy... The only thing Both I feel like... Tokens. What? Oh, did you have a double? I had a full <sighs> supply line. Jimmy cheats. Um, the only thing I feel like you can't quite appreciate in here um, is the artwork's really nice. Like, I, I like... Uh, if, if you can get in close enough, you can see that the all the buildings kind of connect together, so it looks like you're building your own little harbor town. And I appreciate nice art in a game. Like, I think the board is beautiful... This is a table hog. If you have the actual board game that you're playing, yeah. this is a table hog. It will take up space on your table. Um, you lie. Uh, this looks this looks like a very small table. Very small because it's technology. Uh, okay, so what 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 are what are the strategies I'm missing? What are you doing here? Okay. So I got market open. So what would I do? Oh, so you would okay. be able to draw. You'd have to see. So you got three guys left, so you could put one in there. Yep. And then you could draw one of the Europe cards over here, one of the asset cards, and it's gonna, and then it would go down here in, on your player board, and it's gonna automatically just move up your two of your assets. Yep. Nice. And right now you can have one of those cards, and if you want, and a slavery card to have more than one. I of do them. not want one. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, I never get them either. Um, Is there anything else I do on this turn then? Um. Oh. That was your turn. Nope, that's it. But then, like, if you can get your influence up, then you can have, then you can draw another one of those Europe cards if you want. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, people, you're gonna get seasick on this ride. Okay, my turn. Hey, <laughs> okay. So this lets me hire a worker back, right? Although I don't think it's gonna do me any good right now. Yeah, I, need two I to mean, do this. it can be helpful if you want to, you know, use that shipping action again. 
Yeah, but I need, I don't have enough workers to benefit it. So I'm going to have to put one here to put somebody out there. I would need three workers left. So maybe the next yeah. time I, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, that's the good thing about those action tokens is that they stay occupy. on your board until you're ready to yeah. use them. I'm going to occupy and I'm going to find something to move somebody up. Um, boy. Not a lot to choose from. You guys are filling stuff up over here a lot. You're welcome. I'm going to start shipping. Okay. I'm going to do that one. Hey, that's mine. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. So, hey. actually, that is. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, apparently, Everything I have. Do you have the I next round do. button? I'm crooked now. Oh. Uh, yeah, I have it. So How I do would. I? You do? No. Okay. Oh, uh, no, you still got it. I still have it. Do you not have it, Jim? Oh, so you're just. Oop. I moved it. You weren't. No, did you move it or did you click it? I clicked it, which should have. Which Don't moved the. Why? I you're, in, you're in charge of the next round. I know. I've been doing that the whole time, and it worked just fine until you all got crazy about it. It We're automatically. Crazy. All that does is it moves the starting player token down to the other one. All right, y'all. Well, I had to pass anyway, so. I'm sorry. I thought you were done. I guess I just looked down there and assumed. My apologies that I ended the round sooner than I should have. Somebody tell me how to fix this. I'm crooked. I can't uncrooked it. Hold down the right mouse button and move it. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry. I'm laughing with you, not after you. Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have been the one hosting this game. Maybe I should have let one of you be in control and I just played and explained things. Maybe that's what we should do next time. Uh, okay. Can... So Me? I'm assuming there's nothing else I really can do at this point with our limited mappage. Oh. Well, you, you can got... ship. Do you have you have a building that lets you ship? He's already used it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, so you may be... But you've got... Um, you do have Occupy action, so you can still take that. And there's a free city still in Europe. Oh yeah, there is still one. So then you have to put your last worker on that on your first building there. Marvelous. It's a my turn. It's Sami a Mario. Okay. So I'm gonna go me, a Mario. So now I can build a level two building. We're gonna go get something that looks like a ship. Pass? Why? Oh, are we done done? My bad. Oh we are. Huh? Yes. Okay. Sorry. So just go ahead and click end the turn. Yeah. Sorry. I then... ended the next. I thought. I'm sorry. I thought we were done. Okay. A while ago. What, what are you doing? Him. You can just end your turn. Why? Because you can't do anything. Okay. We have to get it back to Ken since he's first player this next round. Okay. I understand so now, what we're doing now. Right, so now, Ken, you get to... You get this, to be the first is, one to build your building. Yeah. So this is a new round. So build a building, get your workers, get new workers, bring your workers back. It's that kind of stuff. Okay. Sorry. And I can still only build... You all distracted me with the done. next round button. Yes, you can still only build a level one. So you <laughs> probably want to get... You're probably going to want to get that level one that bumps you up to a level two. The workshop. Yep. I mean, you don't have to, but then you're just kind of stuck building level ones for a while. And then because I've only got one influence, I can only bring back one from these guys. Mm -hmm. Well, no, since you, you're you under the level two wealth, so you can bring two back from your buildings. Oh, I thought it was influence that will let you. Okay, so it's because of this right here. Right. Gotcha. Basically, it's like, which buildings do you think you're going to be using this round? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about your cart. Yep, I would do those two, too. Okie dokie. And then if you do something and ups your, your cash flow by a couple, you'll be able to bring all of them back. Or if you take one of those, uh, like what I have, one of the action tokens that has the money bag, you'd be all right, too. Oh, dang it. I was over there where I needed to be because I got to build a building. Sorry, kids. I can build a level 2 building now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, I want this shipping one. So it's going to let me draw a card or ship. 
I could take this cannon one, but you lose a lot of workers that way. Like, so, yeah. this this game can be as take that as you want it to be. Um, with that fighting, like, if you really want to block somebody or try to get that, that spot, you can. Uh, most of the time, like, it, to me, it hasn't been worth sacrificing a worker. Uh, I get three. And I can afford to bring both these guys back. Okay. So that is my turn. I should probably draw a card soon. All right, so I can build a level three building. Because Jim's running away with things here, I feel like. Don't you feel like that, Ken? Now, Ken, with some of these shipping, you might be able to get your wealth token up higher because I'm noticing a couple of these are starting with wealth ones. I don't know about over there. It's like the box that allows me to ship and occupy. Pressing stuff at random, it's fine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this will let me press on it, sure. I kind of wish it took Before away though. To bring one back. All right. Oh, you can only bring one Ten. back. Yeah, that's all I had the wealth for. Well, at least Don't I'm richer than you. Lot. I'm consistently, like all my all my uh, assets are lined up. But well, other than, and I'm not very influential. Seems true to life. You're not an influencer yet? Definitely not what one would call an influencer. That's, uh, yeah, that's for sure. But that's okay, because that's not what I'm... That's not, well, that's not what I'm trying to do, I guess. Okay, so... We're, we're still only in Europe, right? Right. Yeah, so you can okay. ship there and take that one, or you can start shipping on one of these tracks. Oh, these only have yeah. four. These aren't as bad. Once you get four or five players, and there's like six or so of those on there... And those take a while to unlock. But even I'm in a two-player game, if you don't a two or three-player game, if you don't start shipping early, like you just yeah. I'm uh, the king of the sea. Let's see. So I think we've no, we haven't filled quite everything in Europe yet, have we? Under um, the sea. There's one more. One more there. Shipping spot. And one That's more. It. Oh, because Don't this, so this little spot. piece is there because we didn't connect. The same player didn't connect the trade route. If anybody's wondering right. why that. That token's still sitting there. Don't you and if you happen to just be joining us and don't know what we're playing, we're playing Endeavor. <laughs> um, Age of Sail. Age of Sail. I believe this was a reprint of another game. I'm going to ship. That's what I'm going to do. I'm doing this backwards of how you would normally do your action, but it's a little easier to go over there and look at the board and decide what you're going to do and then, then come move your... I wouldn't necessarily do that if I were playing the game on my table, but I will do it in here because I think it's a little easier to navigate. Okay, so... Yeah, we like we like a lot of games from Grand Gamers. I've tried this one. Uh, they do the Artemis Project, so if you've played that one before, that one's pretty fun. Um, and we had an opportunity to do a preview of their Kickstarter for Garinto, which is a really cool tile placement game. And so I'm super excited for that. That one is also available on Tabletop Simulator, but I have not tried, have not attempted to play that one on here yet, and we may give it a try. But we really, really liked Garento when we played it. Garento! It's I'm going to ship to South America. I need some coinage. Oh. I think I need to draw a card. Like, I want to ship, but I kind of need a card. Um, and okay, so I got this colonial house. So what do I do with that? So that can let you can occupy if I there's one open. Yeah, you need a harbor in Europe. I don't know if there is a harbor in Europe. There is no one. And one, okay. What else you then got? Really, I was gonna say, is there anything else I can do with? Let me left? come look. No. You no, you're I'll stuck, rat. buddy. Oh, yeah, because you already did your... Thank you. Well, you didn't move it off of there. Oh, because you can only bring one. Now, next round, you can bring two back, though, so you'll be okay. Yeah, I had one on my colonial house to begin... I had one on all three of these, so I took one off the shipyard and one off the colonial house. I yeah. should have taken it off the, the market. Oh, yeah, you probably could have left... I would have... At this point, you could have left it on the occupied one. Yep, the colonial house. Yeah. That's just one of the things you it's... learn as you go. 
It's learning. Yep. I think I'm going to draw a card. Um, so I can take one. I could technically take this one, right? Yep. I think I want this one, though. Yeah, I want that one. Draw the card. So now, ooh, my culture went up two and my influence went up one. But that is the most that I can have in my hand right now until that influence crosses over to the next one. Oh, click the end the turn button, Kim. Connor McGooey would laugh at me. Go here. And then I'm going to ship. Um, the other thing coming out from Grand Gamers Guild. So another game that we would like to try of theirs, but I need to learn it a little bit better. Um, is Endangered. And that is a game about you're saving endangered species. So it is kind of cool from a, um, a teaching or a learning game. So if you play certain games with your kids and stuff like that, I think it's kind of really cool to teach them um, a different side of that. Like it gives them some exposure to what it's like for, you know, trying to save endangered species and things like that. But they have uh, an expansion coming to Kickstarter on August 11th. So we're going to be talking to uh, Mark Spector from Grand Gamers Guild, probably in the next week or so. Probably on a podcast, which I know we haven't done one of those in a while, but um, we'll get we'll get to chat with him for a little bit. Mark's a lot of fun. Um, we enjoyed chatting with him, and I'm excited to see that new that new Kickstarter from them. The artwork looks outstanding on it. Okay, so, Ken, it's your turn. I don't think there's really anything you can do. Oh. Are you stuck again? Come back. Let me come look. Whee! Oh yeah, you are kind of stuck, aren't you? Because he can't. Oh, actions. Yeah, he can't occupy because there's no open Hello? cities anywhere. Are you still there? Hello. Oh, no, it got very you? buzzy. Oh, there we go. Are you still there? Yeah, it like buzzed yeah. real strange. I thought, I don't know that he's there. Yeah, I think I just, I might have just went out of range. Apologies. Oh, no good. Apologies to everyone on the stream. <laughs> Yeah, so I think okay. all you can do is you'll have to pass, and then I think I can take like one more action. I was going to say, that's all, all I can do is just pass again. Actually, yeah. I don't even think, oh, I could, I think I think I will use this disc. I think I will, yeah, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use my action token. I'm going to attempt to get it over here in this little box. Yay. I'm going to bring uh, back this guy. Right, that's what that lets me do. Yep. And then I'm going to put it back on there. Well, I'm glad you, that was your turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. Dang it. Still trying to do more than one I turn I wanted to time? do all the things. <laughs> oh, so I could, I could have actually gotten rid of one of my coins to do well, that? I, no, I had the little action token that lets you... It's like a little coin purse that lets you hire somebody back. Oh, so you can't you're move okay. your You can't right, move your good. wealth token down one to bring somebody back early. Okay, you're, you're cheating. Okay, I yeah. get you. All yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, That'll yeah. work. So Jim does too. Alright, that works. Jimbo, what are you doing? Hey. How he got me last time is he kept getting a t like the very first time we played the, the tabletop game here at home, he had all of those blue action tokens just randomly kind of ended up, although he set up the board, so I'll let you guys assume for yourselves. <laughs> they all ended up on his side. Not that I, that area was open, but it was further away from me, so I didn't notice. But they were all kind of in the same area. They were not all over the board like they are on, on this setup by any means. And he opened up that area, and he had so he had a ton of different action tokens. So he was able to take way more actions using less workers than I could. Because I didn't. they, they just weren't on my, where I was putting my stuff out. And you're still learning, so you don't really understand fully how to open up different areas and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that went... Uh, I went terribly bad. My turn. Your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Good lord. Use my In action real life, token. doesn't that let you do anything until I hit that button? Yeah, it does. But... Oh, well then, blah, blah, blah. I used an action token to draw a card. I took the top one off the Caribbean. Yeah, and that lets you take a worker, which is kind of nice. Ken, do you just have to pass? Is that where you are? Yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm going to take that action again. The shipping, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I don't want okay. that one. What else are you guys opening up over here? Anybody? 
Oh, they're all culture. I don't want culture. Oh, man. I'm looking out here to see what... To build a building or... All right, fine. I'll do this one. I'll come over here. So I took the shipping action. I already put the guy there and I took a building. Or I took the uh, industry. That's the end of my turn. All right. Um... I'm gonna have to pass. I'm passing as well. I'm passing as well. So now do I hit the next round button? Yes. Next round. So now I'm the starting player. So now I will build my building. I can still there only build a two player or a two level. But it still player. says it's my turn. It does? No, it's on yeah, mine. There we I go. got it. Oh no, it was weird. Oh, it did came you back have to, to hit? Me. Oh really? Yeah. It, it was weird. All right, what do I want? I think I'm going to take another guild hall. I hope it did. Better not just give me two guild halls. I felt like it did. And, uh, yes, you can <laughs> have... Bless you! The same building. <laughs> oh, yeah, to clarify, you can have two of the same building. That was funny again. Uh, apologies. You all right? I tried to, I tried, <laughs> tried to mute it right as it was happening. <laughs> oh. You were so shocked by me taking the guild hall. <laughs> that's fantastic all right i can bring two of these guys back so that's what i'm gonna do and that one my turn <laughs> right. that was fantastically timed because it was just enough of the <gasps> that <laughs> yeah it was like, my, my my mute on my headphones is up near the ear so of course i have to reach back there to right, yeah do it and everything it's like ah <laughs> oh i think jim's winning ken Oh, I knew it wasn't going to be me. Yeah, that's what you said about uh, Ticket to Ride, too, there, pal. What are you talking about? Kids. Kids listening at home. I've never seen a man cheat so much at Ticket to Ride in my life. There was no cheating. He and if had... You noticed, if you notice near my name, I've put the 195 Ticket to Ride, baby. Okay. <laughs> There's... <laughs> he, yeah, he got 195. I think his score on the board wasn't even over his. The score on the board was not over a hundred. The score on the board it, was like it was not seventy something or something ridiculous. Like it that. was it was like it was the high eighties. I think was but it. Yeah, I couldn't remember where yeah. you were in the curvature of the board. It was horrible. It really Everything was. else was a combination of no less than six train tickets. I think more well, than that. When you had that line going from New York to L.A. He just kept drawing those new oh, it tickets. Was, it was bad. It was, it, it I can complete this one. Complete. It's worth 20 points. Clunk. I can complete this one. It's worth 19 points. Like, what is happening Clunk. right now? Oh, look, here's another two that one's worth 11, one's worth oh, five. Oh, my. It was okay. the craziest thing, you guys, that I've ever stinking seen. I couldn't believe it. Um, This does not change the situation that currently existed the last time that it was my turn. I don't want sure to do does. any of these things. I don't want to do any of these things. Oh, I can ship, but well, I, um, I occupy here. I'm going to take that card. Whee. So I got a disc that goes here. And my turn. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. You sound like Sophie. Sorry, 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 sorry. 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 She's a cute kiddo. Hey, if you've made it this far into the stream, which I bet a lot of you haven't, because it's been an hour and 19 minutes, but if you are, thank you. That's really awesome of you. Don't forget, uh, if you're watching this today or through the, oh, dates, the 18th, uh, if you go over to our Facebook page pinned at the top, is all we're asking you to do is a helpful little survey to let us kind of get an idea of what uh, what kind of content people are looking for and what you guys enjoy watching. And as a thank you, we'll enter you in to win one of several games. One of which being Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven whoo, Jaws of the Lion. Gloodhaven. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the... The copy is here at the house. It is still in shrink. It does exist. It's not like I'm going to have to battle target to get it. It's sitting right here next to me on the stream. 
Uh, and we also have Endangered, thanks to Grand Gamers Guild. They've given us a copy of that. Oh, it didn't like what you were doing. Um, say, should you be drawing this? Yeah, it didn't like that at all. It doesn't like that I only have one. Well, where, one where are you trying to draw it from? Caribbean. You only, oh, you only have enough. one. You only have one disc in there. Yeah, right. you only. That's why. All right, I'm to take a shipping action then. I had seen that there was there might have been a, like there somebody was talking about a glitch in just some of the chat about this, but I, it looks like it's fixed. So that was an accurate flag from the game. I was. I was. I wasn't thinking about my presence in the region. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thanks to Grand Gamers Guild, we also have a copy of Endangered to give away. Uh, we're all, we, there is also a copy of Squirrel or Die and Hedgehog Hop from our friends at Fight in a Box. Um, I love little games. I love Fight in a Box games. Um, they will tell you, like, they're, they're smaller boxes and they seem silly and whimsical, but they're smart games. Like, there's... There's more to it than meets the eye when you first play. Oh, that's a fun little light game. And the more you get into it, like there's a little more strategy here than what uh, you would initially give some of their games credit for. Processing is one that is super fun. And End of the Line. Kent, I think you would love End of the Line. Um, it's totally up your personality's alley. My personality's alley. It's really fun. What are you trying to say there, Kim? <laughs> that we like... Well, I don't love Take That Games, but I love a Take That Game that will... Yeah, it's funny and you know it's coming and you're hurting yourself when you do it too. It's just hilarious. So end of the line is surviving the apocalypse, trying to get your family to survive the apocalypse. Go right. on. Um, what else do you do in that game, Jim? Oh, I would need that area. Cause I'm uh, right you're there. playing what's called laws so that certain lines for goods is like the last person in line dies. <laughs> dies. <laughs> So you have a mom, a dad, a son, a daughter, and a dog. And the dog can't ever collect anything for you, but the, but everybody else can. But there's different laws that may get rid of all the women in that line. Like, it's 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 terrible and hilarious all at the same time. So, ah, if I open this one, it's going to give Ken trade rights, but I'm going to ship. I'm shipping. In my turn. Uh, that's the only way we're going to get any of these other options open. That's the tricky part of this one. Like, even when Jim and I started playing this game, we didn't ship often enough. And so then ship you, here. So about here in, like, round four and five, you're going, oh, crap. I can't, hey. So the Caribbean. What just happened? You took over I my screen. The Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, I, like, zoomed right into you. That's weird. It's very excited about whatever you just did, Jim. I'm going to take... I feel it's like there should be trumpets hard. and whatnot. As now, I gotta fix what the game just did. Yeah, I feel like that's what it should. Be. I used my docks for that, so I did a, that. That allows me to do a shipping and an occupy. I do like that card. I think that's really. I I can't get to it because I can't seem uh, to get myself. Uh, what do I need? I need. Uh, no, I don't need shields. Well. You can draw more cards, get more stuff. Yeah, give me shields. I'll take this one. I can't do crap. Oh, I can ship one more time. That's all I can do. You're welcome, Jim. Oh. I helped you unlock that region. <gasps> Did I get my extra worker when it came out of the bag? Did it? Does Look. it do that automatically for you? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, then I'm not going to okay, worry about so it. Okay, so what am I doing now? Where are you at? I don't know who here. you are anymore. You're the letter T. Uh, no, oh, yeah. Um, What are you doing? Okay, so you could draw a card. You can have How at least two of them down here. And okay. that's about it. Yeah, because where your influence is, you can have two cards. Oh, okay. And your first, the colonial house is open, is available again since oh, yeah. the Caribbean is open. You can start putting or stuff no, there. No, wait, no, you need presents in there before you can do that. How is that, how is he supposed to get presents? Oh, he'd have to put open C spot, yep. So he'd have to do that with a shipping action, is that right? Right. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> I don't like that. So how do I get, how do I put this? Yeah, I was wondering Just, how you guys put these population oh, discs you double click on the like it has to be the next oh. one down the line. You can't just take any of them, but oh, no, then you just double click. That's just it. the regular shipping action. Oh yeah, so here I think you just have to click your little. Or what are you doing, Ken? Are you taking a card? 
I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I look pretty, so but you, they can't see me. On yeah, the stream, so, so put that's... you have to put one of your dudes here on that one, and then you can take a card from Europe. You could take this card from Europe. Ooh. And so now that so now I can have a third card. Yes. But you got to, like, you have the same problem I do that I've got workers piling up that I can't do anything with. 195 ticket to ride. <sighs> that was a tough game, man. We got our rear ends handed to us. We have a special guest that wants to say good night and hello. All right. Oh, hi. Wow. Hi. She said hi. You gonna say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> that is Ken's daughter, Sophie, who was growing up to be quite a gamer herself. Because I'm pretty sure she, she held her own quite handedly in Ticket to Ride when we played. Yeah, she wasn't in last. She was not. She did. She she hoarded all the the wild cards, though. Dag nabbit. She was good at that. She did good because she's played the kid version. My first Ticket to Ride, I think, is what that one is called. And so it's not a huge, it's, it's, I don't, Ken will have to remind me how old she is now because she's growing up so darn quick. Ken, end of your turn. Oh. oh, did I forget? Did I pull a Kim? I'm so sorry. You did. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't doing anything. Uh, I'm going to ship. I'm going to ship. I'm going to ship. Where am I'm I gonna sorry. Ship? When you're in the presence of the children, it kind of, yeah. you go, what? And well, she, and she was very much, she was very in awe of anything purple. So she was very thrilled by your color choice. I thought she might appreciate that. All right. Oh, I'm the governor of Africa, apparently. Do I? How did you take that back, Jim? I, I, had, to... I had to actually drag it down there. Oh, jeez. Really? Well, that'd be cool if I if it didn't zoom me in on it, and then did it do that to you guys too? Did it zoom yeah. you guys in? All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Well, you can flip it, but you okay? Fine. Just. Be particular. It's very persnickety. In my turn, I put a disc on the shipping thing because I didn't do that. In turn. Okay. Um, so now is, Africa is. Isn't anything, anything, there isn't anything else I can do, so I'm going to end my turn. Ken, we got to get you on some of these shipping tracks so you can do yeah, stuff. I got to pass. Yeah, how do I do that? So when you take um, your shipping action instead, you'll go along one of these routes and then that'll allow you to. So, so basically what I've been doing, putting all these daggone things out here hasn't been helping? Well, you're almost there. So I would put, because you're still in Europe. So both of these sections, like you're set up for prime real estate in both of these that Jim and I have opened, in the Caribbean as well as in Africa. But you're going okay. to tape a sh you're gonna have to take a shipping action to put one of your tokens in this little circle here. Okay, and you said that I could take... There was something where you could do an action of taking this, putting it over into the discard. If, yeah, if you get any of these blue ones. So what I would do, and Jim be nice and don't block him. You could do it either way. There's a couple. You can do it on mine or in Jim's. So whichever one of these you want, you have to take one action to put one of your tokens in one of either mine or in the Caribbean. In okay. one of those. On your next turn, I would take your occupy action. And fill in like one of these, because you're gonna okay, be able so to take... get that blue token. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, put one there. Okay. So now that gives you your you have a presence here. Oh, okay. So now you can start. You can use your occupy, and then you can connect, like this trade token to where your ship is, or where this ship oh, is okay. to so where that one is. Okay. So I can't do anything yet because this is the multiple actions. You don't want to do that. Right. right. So that's all I do is I just put that down there. Okay. Yep. All right. Wait, it's my turn. Did I end my it's turn? turn. Oh. No, I your just... Turn. I literally just ended my turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. And I... Oh, man, what? Why? <laughs> it just zoomed in on me again. Um. So now that I'm over here, I can occupy some of these. Or I can occupy some of these. All right, I'm going to... Take a disc. Put it on my... Po or uh, Occupy... And, oh, wait, I don't do that. I'm going to occupy... Where's it at? I saw it. I saw two I purples. This one. I know not that one. I just... I thought I just like saw here. it. Yes, thank you. I want that one. 
because then I connected those two trade routes and moved some stuff up. Okay. In my turn. Woo! Sorry, kids. And I still got a pass. Okay, so then now I can do this occupied draw. Yep. Right? Actually, put oh. your... put your. Oh, hang on, I'm coming. So put one of your little dudes right here on your colonial house. Okay. Then double... You want probably that one. Oh, uh, that one. Nope, this Can't one. Can't go there. Yep. There you go. So see how you did this one? And then it lets you take that blue token. Oh, so on your next what do I do with turn, the blue token? on your next turn, you can use that one to either draw a card or you can occupy another. So you could come over here and do this. And oh no, you couldn't do that one of mine yet because you need a little. So you'd have to do the same thing over here. As... Well, you need to take a shipping I'll just, action. I'll just put this over here right now, right? You can't do it yet. No, you you don't have a shipping, need to action, a shipping to action to do that. No, I, no, the game will let me see. I just put it over here. <laughs> So, I, you got a good thing going over here. I'd keep connecting some of these, because you could come... Okay. You could fight, Jim. Oh, you don't have a cannon on yours. Never mind. What am I doing? Oh, I got cannons. I got guns. So, I can draw a card, or I can play... I'm going to place. That makes more sense. Dang it! <laughs> I'm holding stuff too long or something, and then it automatically zooms in somewhere, and that just messes with my head. All right, I'm going to use my... I'm going to go here. Did it take my token for me? Nope. Okay. Yes, it, did. it didn't take this one. Not that it didn't one, take no. that one. That's the one that I was trying to put away. Oh, gear god, what'd I do? <laughs> the fun of Tabletop Simulator do? always uses yeah. phrases of, oh, dear god, what did I just do? Now, let me preface this with, yes, we've been on here for an hour and a half. We've also been... Uh, fiddling with TTS and I'm Chatty Cathy. So at your table, this moves a little bit faster. If it's not on stream and somebody's not trying to show you all the stuff they're doing, it also probably moves a little bit faster. Um, I And I pro could probably be better at moving around, but I don't want to make you all seasick. So I don't want you guys to look as good. This game takes too long for what it is. It plays much quicker in person. Um, it, and I think it probably plays much faster when you're not trying to fight with moving around the board. Okay, so <clears throat> what options do I have to do right now? I basically, since all of my, just for everybody's thing, basically all of my stuff over here is covered. All of those are full, but right. you do have this. Right. I do have this, but the only thing that I could do with this is I could move over to an Africa... No, right. you can't go into Africa You have to yet. ship. Oh, that's right. I can't yeah. go into Africa. So you could still stay over here. You could still go on any one of the... You could still do an Occupy on any one of these. Right. Like, the only benefit is when you start connecting these. That, like, heck, Ken, I would do this one because it connects to that route. Um, Or you could draw a card because you so can hold... So I just hold move, the, move the Occupy up to here? That goes discard right here. Discard that. Oh, discard it here. Yep. And then click on... Yep. There you go. Perfect. And then that moved up both. Yes, you put all your Ooh. little dudes moved up. Yep, look at you go. I, I, I going. Just call me Forrest, because I be running. Whoa. Oh, my turn. I heard that. <laughs> Did you hear that one? Yeah, welcome to our life. I can't do anything else. I'm going to do my turn. Was that your belly, or was that the no, car? No, that was a car driving past the house. Um, We get awesome. those multiple times a day always when we're doing some sort of stream or i'm trying to record the voiceover stuff for a video always so obviously the only thing i could do at that point was end because there's nothing else i had right yep. i think everybody's passed so yep. hear me next round next round and it's my turn so i get to build a building another level three you're at level three? Yep. I'm at level three I now. Thought, I, was, I thought you were at level four, Jim. Or is that... Am I looking at the wrong track? No, he's I'm at looking at the wrong track. <laughs> yeah, I was... I was a little intimidated by this. But it honestly works out to be a lot of, like, take a worker, put a worker down. Like, that's... And 
And the, it was like after I played it the first time, I went, oh, I should have done that. Oh, I should have, like, you kind of have those moments. Oh, you still oh, got some oh, nice... Oh, I'm... Okay, I know where I got confused. I thought because Jim was at uh, Industrial of five it's very confusing that, that made five but it actually just means it's three, three. It gets me right. every t- it, every uh, time okay that little line on the bottom like it's it's confusing that it's not equal to what my number actually is like that takes once you do it a couple times you're like oh i remember what this does now but is is there anything in the game where it would say like as long as you have industrial of six you get to do something or anything else like that i don't think so okay no. So then they, what you're Unless it's in probably... now, that could be in some of the content that we haven't played yet, but not right, that, right, not right. in the base game that we played. Okay, so I can still only build up a level two building. We gotta get your, which is fine. Can you? you so gotta... what does guild hall and barracks get me? So barracks, barracks is, get, is where you me. can fight somebody. So you could essentially discard one of your workers to basically take over oh, somebody else's oh, spot. Oh, did I, did I accidentally click on that? Uh-huh. He, he, he. He, he, he. he, he. So, he, he, yeah, he. so, like, this one, I'm going to point him out to you. To, I'm not blocking any of your routes currently, but you could take over this one of Jim's. And then it would give you... I'm not you... saying anything. So and that's And then because, cool. I've, because I've got a bunch of wealth, I can bring back three workers off yep. of my thing. Exactly, right? Sweet! Okay. I, I oh, I'm learned. building. I can build a three building now. I gotta zoom in. I think I want the one that is. Is it the docks that's two actions, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, shipping and occupy. All right. Sorry, Ken. I took the last one. And then I get four workers. So there they are. And I can hire. I can bring. Oh, I can only bring three back. Oh, bother. Bother, bother, bother. Let's take that one back. Two, three. All right. I guess I should have taken that token that was more wealth earlier. Shame on me. I'm going to fire the first shot. What? What are you doing? (gasps) Oh, Ken, he took your token. Oh, it was so. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just the purple trading company here. Not not getting in the way yeah. of anybody's stuff. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. It, as, as Marie just said, it's on like Donkey Kong. So let's see here. All right. <laughs> so for me to fire back at him. Yep. You got to put one guy there and then you got to sec. It may do it automatically. It may not. You have to sacrifice a dude. <laughs> Just go up to the map and click on where you want to fight. You gonna take it back? <laughs> and then Give me. Does it do everything? It yeah, and it, it did. It, it did. Okay, cool. Cool. Now I'd put one there. Can and then if you take that cannon, you get a free cannon action. Uh, my turn. Oh. I'm not helping there Ken will at be all. Free That's not a thing that I'm doing, Jim. I'm gonna go here because I want to ship and occupy. I'm going to. I need more monies, but I don't necessarily see the point of shipping there. That seems silly. I'm going to occupy there. Why must you zoom now? Why is that a new thing that you do? Um, yeah, it is a little annoying, isn't it? I think I, I'm, I'm assuming it's something that I'm holding my mouse down too long or something. I don't know. Um, that is possible. I, I think I remember that in the Destiny thing, if you held your mouse button down or something weird things yeah yeah i took two actions because my card allowed me to you guys i wasn't cheating the uh where i place my token lets you do a ship and an occupy jim is that actually true or is she just playing in on my stupidity no that's actually true and i'm gonna do the same thing it allows me to do a ship and an occupy oh i'm gonna ship Come which card is me. that uh, it's the docks. It's, docks. it's a level it's three gone. building. I'm sorry. Jim took two of them. Uh, I blame him. I'm going to occupy there. Oh, I didn't think you could take the same building. You can have more. You can have the same building. We said it really early on, and you may have missed that, and I apologize if you did. Oh, I thought you said later that you couldn't take the same one. Okay. All that. 
If you get right, up here to so four, what are you doing? How do, do you I got? go to this action token there, Miss Kim? So you're going to want to put a dude on your Occupy. And then you're going to Occupy this um, harbor. Trade. Yep. And then it'll give yeah. you that action token. Yeah! Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Kim's taking over your Caribbean, Jim. Um, Don't say that. You get copyright strikes. He's safe. Oh, this is true. I don't think he sounds too much like the thing that I'm, I'm not genuinely concerned about it. Okay. I need to ship, ship it. I'm just singing a song, it. Jim. I think Wait, yeah, that's, that's, how you get, that's how you get copyright strikes. Yep. <laughs> then I am referring to something that shall not be named. Oh, man. Oh, my influence is up there. I'm okay. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. Instead of ship, I'm going to take a card. And I'm going to take that card. I want that card. There we go. And that's all I can do. Okay. I need to get my monies back so I can hire all my little guys back. The only thing I can do now is... One, two, three. I'm okay. A card. I... A I realize that when we're all thinking about our next thing is it gets very quiet and I'm very sorry about that. We'll get better. Oh, I'm I just, I'm not even thinking. I'm just wondering what the heck is going on. <laughs> I don't know, Ken. You got a pretty good area of stuff happening over here. I, I guess. I'm hoping this adds up the points as well as it does all the other stuff because that would be super awesome. It does. <gasps> That's so Ooh. cool. I don't want... I want to see, you know, who's winning. <laughs> We're just yeah, curious. Um, at the far left and right of the board is a scorecard, so you just click on the total button, nice. and it'll uh, automatically add everything oh. up for you. Cool. That's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine. Like, kudos. I'm going to say it again. Kudos to whoever put this together, because no it's, it has yeah. this is really it's really nice all the automation stuff that it has in it, it that could here. not have been easy to build so it's it's the workshop module for um tabletop simulator it's the endeavor age of sales scripted by decumanus maximus cool good job man it's pretty awesome yeah all right so very well done if I'm wrong. oh yeah if i'm gonna take this token right here. You can't take that token right there. Why not? Because it's in between these two. So, so if you take right here, oh, you can't go right here yet. It's not uh, a spot you can go to it's not directly. A spot you can go to. No. Oh, that's what. Are the you wanting one, one of those? Like, is that the whole thing? Because you can take a shipping action and get it on one of these. I, I literally, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Is what I'm. All right, where are you at? To... What do you got left to do? You can draw a card. This on shipping. Yeah. And then click on that one. On this little token guy up there. This, and you said, yeah, this one you have to go in order, correct? Yeah, you gotta right. start at the little arrow, yep. Perfect. So that's gonna move you to now you can start getting one of these, which would be good. I would Pretty. maybe do this one. Yeah. And turn. And then if one of us unlocks that, now you have a presence there, which is what kind of stung you on these two, is you had to take that extra action. I wouldn't even and then how would this I, one. How would I get a presence in Africa? It's, I could do the you shipping thing. You would have to do a shipping thing. There. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, keep taking over Jim's Caribbean. Don't don't worry about Africa. <laughs> we're 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 taking care. Of, we're doing just fine. Oh, I forgot to end my turn. I don't I don't know if I believe you, Kim. We're doing just fine over here. You did, Kim. I ended my turn. Did I not take my turn? I took Ken's turn instead. You did not. Yeah, you did not take a turn. Don't take just my go turn. Go ahead and do your thing. I don't know that I can do. Oh yeah, I can ship or I can occupy. Mm. Or you, you can, can just card. end your turn. It's fine. No, I can't. Oh, I could get a card. That's worth four points. I don't want four points. Oh, excuse me. That Wowza. Was <sighs> that was the A&W root beer. Apologies. <laughs> it's after hours. Joys of life. It's gaming. fine. All right. I'm going to take that card. Okay. But now it's my turn. Yeah, right? and I already hit the end of my yeah. turn. Am I okay? I can do four and... cards. Okay. 
Okay, I've only got one worker left. You can't do much, can no you? No action tokens, so I can't do anything, so I have to end my turn anyway. Ken, you can. You only have one worker token left, too, Ken? Yeah, I've got the action attack token. But yeah, but you'd have to, you got to sacrifice one and be able to place one, so you need, like, three guys for that. So that's all you I can do I want to draw round. more cards. You got, How oh. do I just draw? Yeah, put your dude, oh. put your, you can, put your dude on that one. You can draw in Europe. You can draw in... Can't he draw... He can draw over here in North America, right? Because he has a presence there now. Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah. He can draw in North America. You can draw in the Caribbean. Okay, so this is just bonus points at this point on this one. Yep, and you've got enough discs. Yep. Yeah, and you can this take is... That, one. that is two um, industry. Two buildings. Yep. Yep. And, and then, then... Where else are you This here? one is... What, gonna influence? up your cards and your money. Yeah. And I don't, yeah. Yeah, so next time, now you can have four cards. Yep. Well done, sir. I don't think I can do anything else. Nope. I don't have any spaces. You can look pretty. That's all I can do. And I gotta pass. So is that all of us passing? And that's... Yep. So you may get right. interned and then next round. End round. Yeah, next round. Mr. Yay! Kit, no. let me end my okay, turn. End your turn yeah. I did, no, and it came back and... to me. We yeah. got it. Um, okay. Now it's my turn again. Ken, you ended your turn too quick. I just wanted to click the button. I know. I'm sorry. Don't... Jim, end your turn. Don't click the button. Yeah. I want to press the button. All right, so now you can build a level three building. So that's either one of these two. So this one is a cannon or an occupy, and that one is two culture. So the cult, the two cultures, not it's gonna get you closer to the bonus points, but that's about it. And then you get a crap ton of workers. What are you talking about? Uh, that's not that many. That's a lot. <laughs> and then I can you bring can back bring... a total of three. Yep. All right. So. I wouldn't worry about your cannon one because you have a cannon and you I've have got a cannon. cannon and I got another one there. So yeah, yeah these I'll bring three. those three back. Oh, and you don't even have to... You can just click them and they'll come back. Yeah, nice. I, I literally... Yeah, last round is when I figured out that I did <laughs> I well, was pulling the them back, is, too. I was like, oh. Well, that's the thing. You've, they, they have to set up the script on that for it to do that. That's crazy. And if they don't, then, yeah, you don't know if it's going to work. So. Yeah, I'm going to... Ah! It took two... <gasps> did I take two of the other one? I don't think so. Hang on. Uh -oh. well, let me move that and see. No, it won't let me move it. Kimmy's cheating again, Murray. Well, it came up with a... It says, yep. should you be constructing another building? That oh, didn't it did? Pop up before. Bef oh, okay. Yeah, Kimmy's right. cheating. I only wanted Jim. that one, and it I was going to say, you it. have six um, peasants in Africa, so you could have taken the special building there. Oh, I forgot about that we were playing if with those. If you wanted it. I forgot that we were dun, playing dun, with dun, those, dun, and dun. now it's too late. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I can bring, I can bring four. everybody. All four of them. And that ends my turn. Alright, so I still just have a level three building. We probably could have done that simultaneously. Like, I think where we've added time to it is that we've not done those actions simultaneously, so we could have been if everybody was comfortable. That's another way that you can speed this up a little bit. You still need to take the buildings in turn order. I guess I should point that out. Because if you happen to be drawing something where there's not enough for everybody, then it should go in turn order. But other than that, everything else is just you clicking the buttons and bringing back your workers. I don't know what I want to do. I can ship a whole bunch. Maybe I can open something else up. Ken, what do we want to open? I'll come over here and help you open this one. All right. Kenneth, right. Let's see. All right, Mr. Kenneth. I'm on the wrong board. <laughs> I was looking at this one to your left. Um, Let's see. What are you thinking? You can't put anything here yet. You can ship nope. to open this one up. You can. So, Jim, you can... how do I invade Africa? Hey, stay out of Africa. <laughs> you need to ship and put a thing over here before you can come bother me. Okay. Um, oh, no. Get out of Africa. But you can't take this one. That's worth two points. Just for the record. A couple of these harbors, they're kind of hard to see here on the board unless you really zoom in. They don't connect to anything, but they're worth two points. 
Which hey, is kind of worth. Well, I'm, I'm playing the here. pirate, okay? Get out of here. I'm going to shippity doo da. I'm going to take two shipping actions. Do I want to do that? Eh, yeah, why not? Whoops. I didn't land anywhere near the little. Okay, we can no longer land on that space when we're far. Okay, it's there. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to do this one. And that one. Ken, this is beneficial to you if I open up North America. It is. Probably more so I'm than okay me. with this. I probably should have opened over here, but... Oh, I have no, one no, over no, there! No. Oh, I forgot that I st Crap. I forgot that I'd started that one. You're <laughs> fine. Ship. Oh, shoot. I just open up North America. Hey, thanks, buddy. I'm the governor of North America. That goes in my hand, that. though, right? Yeah, that would take the spot of one of your cards in hand, and you can't keep it yet. I can't keep it yet. Can I put it there for now, and then... Oh, no. Pick, take the card. All right, hang on. Whee. I gotta just see if I can... Wait, why can't I? Two, oh, there you go. Three, four. I'm up there. Well, that, that moved you up, so you'll be able to keep it. Oh, now. that that's a win-win situation. Okay. All right, and that was my double action, so I still need to do an Occupy. Ow. So we've opened North America. So Ken, now North America is open to you. So you can place or ship. Although most of those are... Oh, well, there's a ship. So, one thing to point out, Ken, is the tokens that are on ships will not count towards points at the end. Okay. But the harbors will. So if you do the Occupy on, say, this one, it's going to connect to your ship and you're going to get both those tokens and you'd get a po you'll would get get a you get points. Did you see where I was pointing? I didn't. So if you Occupy here, you'll get that okay. token and that token. And they'll both be worth points. Alright, so I go Population Disc here. Yep. And yep. Occupy! Occupado! Yep. Akiapado. Oh, it's my turn. North America, what do I want to do with you? Not a whole lot. I've done pretty much everything I can do back here. Hmm. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right... Oh, I'm going to anger the kin now. I took one of his linking spots. Oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I should have stayed out in North America and just stuck to shipping like I know what I'm supposed to do. Yep, you should have. <laughs> this, is war. this is fine. This is all fine. Well, I figured since I put in some effort in opening it up, I might as well do something over there, you know? Uh, you really shouldn't have. I feel like that's the thing I have not done well so far in this game, is I haven't... I've started shipping based on what tokens that I want that are on that shipping track, but then the rest of my stuff is nowhere near it. So that I don't b capitalize on connecting as many um, shipping tracks, because I'm not, See, you're, you're, I'm not doing your it Your problem right was way. invading North America. You well, I opened it! it. <laughs> Again, your problem was... <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So now we're both okay. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Okay. Ken's got. I will right. say, Ken has plenty of workers, so using the cannon action will not be hard for him. No. You've got that one, and you have this one. That one. Now you have to sacrifice That's dudes me. as you do it, but so I would use oh, this one because no. it's less of a guy. I would use this one. Use this one. It's less. It's less dudes. Yeah, but don't you have to put one on here first? Not if you use this token. Well, yeah, okay, so where do I put this token? Put that the... token over here in this box. In the boxy box? Yep. Discard token. And now, you sacri you sacrifice one. Uh, then you just click on where you want to attack. Oh, that's right, and, and it'll, it'll, it'll do it. Do that for you. So... Oh, oh, okay. No! Oh, look, you're almost up to a level four building. That's what you want. 
that's what I'm trying to get to. I already took the double shipping action. Oh, I forgot I did that. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. All right, let's. What's this? I gotta zoom in. I was trying to not jump the screen around a whole bunch so that I didn't make everybody, you know, seasick, but. All right, that's a shipping action. All right, I'll do that. I'm gonna see if I can't open up that other section. La, da, 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 da. I can't take the governor thing. Well, we'll see. So that was a shipping, so I'll go there. And that's it. Okay. Hey, thank you to our latest uh, subscriber. Go here. I'm just gonna draw a card. Which one do I want? Ooh, that one's nice. That one. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I would have done too. That's a nice card. All right, Kenny Bobinny, what do you want to do? You don't have enough guys to fight anymore. I do. No, you don't. You gotta put one there, hey. and you gotta sacrifice one, and you gotta put one on the board. You need three. Oh, I can just get one out of this little bag right here. <laughs> you can draw a card, because you can keep four cards. So you can draw a card I there. I can. You can draw a card there. And drawing a card is the market right here. Yep. All right. Just gonna. What are you trying to? What do we need to boost you up on? Ooh, I would almost. Uh, I think yeah. That I'm, one. I'm getting the North America one. Oop. And it gives you a little dude. But now you can build a level 4 building next turn. So that'll exactly. be these. Exactly. My turn and I don't know what the heck to do. Get out of here. Jimbo. Hey, I forget what this one does. Because I'm too far away. That's a plus sign. It's a ship and an Occupy, right? Yeah. Okay. I love when those. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the ship and the occupy. <laughs> that Ow. was our house. <laughs> That's crazy. I heard it in Jim's microphone before mine. That's what, like, I heard it come for, in his stuff before I heard it on the street. All right. That's I'm crazy. Gonna ship. And I'm going to occupy. Whoop. There we go. How does it know that I put my token there and I can do that action? How does it know? The computers are taking over, man. I believe it. All right, so I can't. Uh, there's nothing available to occupy. Can you might want to ship and get on up in here. Just saying. So. Because to me, it kind of annoys me that I have to put a thing here as an action when, like, and not get a benefit from it to be considered in that area. Like, I don't. Yes. I get why you need it. I just hate that being my option. Token. I guess. It doesn't look like there's anything to occupy for me, correct? Right. And you yep. don't have enough dudes to fight. Yep. So I have to say passy passy. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I can do this one. What do I want to do? That's not worth a point, so I don't want to do that. Yeah. I'm going to use this token. Maybe I should have held on to it. We'll find out if that... What's the smart thing to do later? We'll do that. Well, now it's my turn. I did a shipping action and I took a industry token. Okay. Oh, I clicked on intern, but I must have missed it. My bad. Um, and I've got to pass because I can't. The only option I have is an occupy, and I don't. There isn't anything that I can take. Oh yeah, you're right. So cool. pass. All right. So. In next round? And next round. 
Okay, I'm going to leave that because it's... So I can build... This is it, kids. This is last round. I can only build a four-level building. I'm going to take the university. It's worth four, three points. And if you guys want to go ahead and grab your buildings, if we want to speed up the time a little bit, then I would say go ahead and take your workers, pull your dudes back that you can do back. I think we're, we've done this enough times that we don't need to watch each other do it. That'll help speed it up I'm a little I'm still trying bit. to figure out which, so at this point, which one would be? So this one's worth three points. That's just straight right. three points. This will let you draw two cards, which I don't know that you want to do. And this will let nope. you take two shipping actions, which aren't going to give you a whole lot of points here at the end of the game. But you don't have, I think where we stir, like steered you wrong was not getting a couple more action places in here. But if I were you at this point, I would try, if there's anywhere that you can go grab an action token, like if you take the shipping action up here and wherever this is, uh, like I said, the far east, and then you can I take that. Got, I already got the university. We're good. So, but I'm just thinking when you start taking your the, actions, oh, I'll hit intern. When you start taking your actions. I went ahead and, I went ahead and took the uh, Caribbean Charter Company, the special building. Oh, I needed to look at those Since and I didn't look at those. I didn't look at a single one of those buildings, and I should have. I think they're all um, just like increase two attributes and then give you a double action. Okay. So, I uh, Ken, I don't like that you're right oh. there in that ship. I want that token. Oh, you could fight yeah. me and you would get that token. That's one other thing that you could do. You could kick I me know. out of here and get isn't that, that token. Isn't that fun? You could take this one and get that token. Mm-hmm. These are all full. I mean, you're first. And I know. This one's all full. I'm just trying to see what... These are all full. These are all full. All right, Ken, I lied. I'm going to take the action I told you to take because there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I'm going to do ship in place. Oh, man, I'm going to get that governor card. And I can't do anything with it. Maybe. So I'm going to ship. So that makes me governor. Yeah, I don't, ah. know, I don't know why you feel the need to do that for everybody, but thanks. <laughs> like, that's the only thing I'd be like, take that out of the script because it's real annoying. Um. Oh, the auto zoom. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of handy because then it reminds us, like, hey, this is something that you can do now. Guess what? Somebody just something just happened majorly. All right, I'm gonna discard this one. Uh, the discard is up above the discarded tokens. Of course it is. Right there. Okay. So that was... And then I didn't place yet. So I'm going to place... Ah, oh, damn it. Darn it. Language. I'll go right there. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Ah, dang it! Okay. Last round. Uh, so, Ken, you've got... You can't come get me up here. I'm coming after you, Ken. What? Why? Oh, get him, Ken. Ken. Kick him out, Ken. He took your He took your point. Um. Why would you do that, Jim? What did I do to you? <laughs> it's mine. Now how you keep friends, Jim. Um, I'm trying to think where else he can go. Oh, if you kick Jim out there, you get that one. If you... I don't... Oh, none of you can come play with me up here. This is all mine. Um... <laughs> what are you thinking, Kenbo? You cannot come up here to the far east and get me. But you can kick Jim out of here. And get that building token. But I don't, it's like, at this point now, you're just trying to get it up to points. Right. you won't build another building or anything. Oh. Ooh. Nice. And then you can occupy somewhere. Did you occupy somewhere? That was attack or occupy. Oh, I'm sorry. Attack I'm or. leading you astray. Uh, My apologies. I was going to say, yeah, that, that's, that's no plus. That's My a, that's apologies. A All right. I took that two-pointer one. What else do I want? I need to get this up. 
I'm glad the new guy was correct in the right? old fogies. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> um, shoot. I need an urn, and I don't... That's, now, when I finally need one, I don't have one. Okay, that's all right. I'll do... Oh, shoot. Oh, no! I did that one. I can do this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't. I, I I open this big old area up, and I can't do a darn thing with it. Cool. That's great. All right. Sweet. In turn, I have one occupy. Like I only have the two occupy spaces, and I've just used them both. And so all I can do is ship. Your turn. I thought I did. I'm sorry. All I can do is ship, and there's no points in shipping. Well, sort of there are. I guess because like, you can still get. Um, the tokens that would then move your assets up. So I guess there is that. And I guess that's what I'm going to be doing. Because <laughs> this, I can't draw any more cards. So, yeah. Good job, Kim. My eyes are getting itchy. My apologies, you guys. Go. Ship and attack. There. That's a ship and occupy. Sorry. Ha ha, no attacking for you. Ha 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 ha. And no occupy there. Okay. So that's my turn. All right, Kimbo. What are you thinking? Ah, he's shipping or drawing. Or thinking. Did it just freeze on you? No, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. You got very quiet, and the board got very still, and I was like, right now. <laughs> okay, so... The asset cards. I saw you replace one earlier, is that correct? Mm-hmm. So you can draw another one and replace one that you have. Your stuff will move down, but then it'll correct itself. Okay. So yeah, like this one over here, this got like three points. Uh, or that one, yeah, you could take either one of those. Actually, uh, you, right now you can keep it in. The, you can keep it there for now. Well, you can have four. Um, it's just one, that two, three. It's oh, just yeah. at the end of the round where you have to discard down to your hand size. Yeah. So if you happen I, to be able to get up to that that hand size, because I was able to, and I ended up ha not having to get rid of one. So. Right. Gotcha. Okay, I can ship, or I can ship, or I can ship, or I can ship. So I guess I'm gonna. Oh, well, holy ship! I know. I guess I'm gonna ship. Um. Where am I going to ship? Here, shippy, mm, shippy, garlic shippy, breath. Shippy, shippy. I'm going to do that one. That's all she wrote on that one. All right. So I'm going to ship. Oh, uh, Ken, you raise a good point. I could draw cards that are now worth more things. That's not... A, oh, man. Why does it do that? Because I... I know. I'm super excited that you did. It just... I wish it would then set itself back. Again, out of all the things about this, that that's the least of my troubles because it otherwise. Works so, really how cool. did you get that charter Car Caribbean thing? Um, since I had uh, six discs in that region, in my in the building phase, I could choose that special building instead of one of the other ones. Ah. That's so like my attack act. Jim, he mentioned that right at the end, and I was like, oh, okay, I don't know if we're using all that. And so I haven't really paid any attention this whole time, and he's the only one that remembered that he said that. So there are little buildings down here that we could have grabbed, but that I completely forgot all about. It is a small expansion okay. that goes with the game, right, Jim? Yeah, Jim, I'm not really liking what you're doing, sir. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I probably won't avenge you this game, but I'll get you next game. It'll be fine. Don't worry, we can bring this one over so you can beat him in real life. In person. In person. There we go. Those are, that's, that's a more satisfying win anyway, you know, when you see it on their face. And the defeat, the betrayal. The, well, Ken just took that spot. I guess I'll go ahead and end Ticket to Ride now. <laughs> Jim was a little salty in Ticket to Ride. 
I really cannot blame him. I'm not going to lie. Well, he was, it took him half a game because we kept blocking him. And that's, I like Ticket to Ride, but that is the frustrating part of Ticket to Ride is when somebody takes your track and you were completely just hosed and there's no way to get around. I had that happen mm-hmm. on a couple of my, on my tickets. There was just no way, there was, it was impossible to make the connection. Ken, I don't know where to tell you to go. What do you got? Uh, you can draw a card, so you could replace another card if you really wanted to. You could replace one of, like, your year of zero card. Yeah, I would almost one. do that one. Because yeah. you could grab... Oh, you don't have enough for that one. One, two, three, four, five. You have enough for the Europe one, though. Uh, and that's got three the, points. The North America one. Yep, you have enough for... Although, I don't know if that's a good trade up. Well, no, that would get your points or your coins up to the next thing. So put it, so you're going to want to discard probably your, I'd get rid of that one for sure. And then move that one into its place. Yeah. Did I pick up two cards? Did you Uh, have another card right there? Yeah, I picked up two. Oh, I was like, hang on. Uh Uh-oh. I don't know how you. Hold on. (laughs) Oh, you got Jim? Okay, thank you. I was like, I don't know how you undo that. You can't. If you click and hold over it, it'll pick up the whole stack. So you just kind of have to really quickly click it. Yeah, you kind of have to really click it. Yep. All right. Really quickly click it, yeah. Quickly click it. Say that five times fast. Quickly yeah. click it. Quickly click. 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 All right. I think. Ugh. All right. I'm going to use this token because what the crap else am I going to do with it? Um, and I will use one of my workers. No, I won't. I don't have. Wait. That was ship and draw a card. I'm going to draw this card. No, I'm not, because it's not coming with me. I'm going to draw this card. I'm going to draw this card. Why can't I draw that card? I don't Should have five. Should you be drawing that card? Give me. Oh. You have four. Give me my little, give me my token back. <laughs> oh, jolly green giant. I don't have enough to, it's not worth it for anything else. Give me my token back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like when you put your quarter in the pot machine and it doesn't Which give it back to you. It? It's fine. I'll just take a shipping action. It's fine. That's the only thing I can do anyway is ship. Ship, ship, bed, oop, shoop, bed, oop. Um. <sighs> this is dumb. Okay. Oh, stop moving the thing, Kim. Move. I'll go right there. All right, that's the end of my turn. I think I'm done. I think that's all I can do. I think that's the end of the game for me, fellas. I have a feeling Jim's going to win. Maybe. Probably. Oh, it doesn't like what you're trying to do either, buddy. Oh, all right, fine. That's probably good because my hand's full. Oh. Take it anyway. I'm going to discard this one. Yep. Did it move your stuff down? Yeah, it did. Oh, there you go. My turn. Uh, in turn? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is what I will be doing as well. Uh, I've got a pass. That is it. Everybody passed. Yay. Yep. That's the end of the game. Okay. Somebody total here. Did you click it? Oh, it just scores everybody. No. Is it just score yours? Or does it do everybody's? It scores college? everybody. Yeah. I got oh. 50. Kim Why got does 60, Blue Jim have three points? I don't know. Uh, hello, gentleman, lady, right there. Oh, Boom. thank you. The the thing that you told me <laughs> right here, where you said, "Hey, by the way, if you don't do anything, like, you're going to get a minimum of three points." So confused. Yeah. You had how many? Ge- I can't were... read that yellow at all. What did you end up with, uh, Jim? Sixty-two. Oh, that's not okay. That was close. Actually, that's not. I mean, really, that's not too bad. Yeah. What I failed to tell you, I should have told you about the ships versus the placement kin early on. That was, I, I should have told you that. Oh, that, that's fine. I knew you were, I knew you were sabotaging. It's still it was fine. very respectable. Oh yeah, totally. 
Because because I'm like, oh, I mean, you got a few things that like you would like, but they connected stuff that gave you a point, like when you connected lines and stuff. But. Yeah, if, I think if I would have had more um, at the last thing, I should have had more cannony stuff to shoot. Mm -hmm. to I should have shot. James a little bit more. Just <laughs> shot him. So what did you think? Did you like it? Yeah, I'll play this. I'll play this again. I like. I, f I finally understood what was going on. I didn't. I think it I takes was... a game, or at least about half oh, a yeah. game, to pick it to go. Why am I putting stuff in the middle? And then after, like, then it, <clears throat> it moves a little smoother. But it I think well. I I have to duck out because Xavier wants to go to bed. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't silly. realize that this would run quite as there long as it would. I think playing it in person yeah. will do a yeah. better... It, it. I think if you're watching this somebody do it, you can watch it happen better than... the. I love this module if you oh, know how to play. Fine. But learning, this I think this it's... Fun. We have to end it the way that you end a game on Tabletop Simulator. Are you going to flip the table? One. Ah, yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, on that note, yeah. I'm going to just transition to the thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. Join us on Saturday. We'll replay some more games and probably get our rear ends kicked by Seppi Yoon and into the line. Have a great night.